In this first episode of our Money Mindset series, we will be reflecting on your current money beliefs, the power of your money mindset. Folks, let me tell you something. Your mindset about money is everything. It's the key that can unlock financial success or keep you trapped in a cycle of debt. It's not just about the numbers. It's about what's going on between your ears. Your money mindset is like the operating system of your financial life. It's running in the background, influencing every decision you make. Whether you realize it or not, it's telling you what's possible and what's not. If your money mindset is broken, your finances will follow suit. But here's the good news, folks. You can change your money mindset. You're not stuck with the beliefs you inherited or the fears you've developed. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Before we continue, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get all 30 of our Money Mindset episodes. Number one, let's take a trip down memory lane, folks. Think back to your earliest memories of money. These memories might seem small, but they're the building blocks of your money mindset. Early experiences shape our beliefs more than we realize. Whether your early money memories were positive or negative, they've left their mark. They've created a foundation for how you think about money today. Once you recognize these influences, you can start to question them. Ask yourself, is this belief serving me or is it holding me back? That's the first step to changing your money mindset. Number two, family talks and money beliefs. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say, the elephant that wasn't in the room. A lot of us saw our parents live their lives paycheck to paycheck, which has now laid a foundation for our own money beliefs. We saw our parents spend and never save, or they save to spend and not invest. We saw money and food running out with the only way out being the use of credit cards to make up. Or for many of us, money was a taboo subject growing up. It teaches us that money is something to be feared, something we shouldn't discuss openly. On the flip side, some of you might have grown up in homes where money was discussed freely. These open conversations can be incredibly powerful. But even if your family talked about money, the messages might not have always been helpful. The truth is, our families are our first financial advisors. It's time to take a hard look at your family's money messages and decide if they're serving you or holding you back. Number three, facing financial fears head on. All right, folks, it's time to get real. We all have financial fears. They're like those monsters under the bed, scary in the dark, but a lot less intimidating when we shine a light on them. So let's flip the switch and face these fears head on. What are you afraid of when it comes to money? Is it not having enough? Losing what you have? Making a mistake? Drop in the comment below one of the things you are afraid of when it comes to money. These fears don't discriminate. They can affect anyone, regardless of their bank balance. But here's the thing, fear is a lousy financial advisor. Fear can paralyze us. It whispers lies like, you'll never be good with money or you don't deserve financial success. The first step is to name your fears. Then ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen if I face this fear? Number four, hope for change and rewrite your money story. Now, I know we've covered some heavy stuff, you might be thinking, Dave, is there any hope for me? And to that I say, absolutely. Your money story isn't set in stone. You can rewrite it starting today. People who grew up in poverty becoming millionaires, shopaholics transforming into savvy savers. These changes didn't happen overnight, but they did happen. And they started with a shift in mindset. Changing your money mindset is like renovating a house. You start by clearing out the junk, those limiting beliefs and fears we've talked about. Then you lay a new foundation of empowering beliefs. These new beliefs might feel uncomfortable at first, like new shoes. But the more you walk in them, the more natural they'll feel. Before you know it, you're not just thinking differently about money, you're acting differently too. Your journey to financial freedom starts now. All right, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today. Your journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. And like any journey, it starts with a single step. So, what's your next step? Maybe it's reflecting on your early money memories and how they've shaped you, or having an honest conversation with your family about money. Perhaps it's writing down your financial fears and challenging them. Whatever it is, I want you to commit to taking that step today. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. By subscribing to this series, you're joining a community ready to take control of their financial future.